of it here. So, um, next up in welding is to um, actually load the wire. So, um, I'm going to be doing that. Uh, I got the um, dark side instructions. And, um, sadly, important page with the figures in it is missing so there's another thing there. Plus that's one of the only persons on this planet I read the um, all the um, safety instructions in the manual and there are trans into the English language there are very bad <laughs> a few very bad um, English translation mistakes. Uh, plus then they write it with small text that they take no liability or responsibility for what's in this manual. But anyway, the most important thing is that you need to get um, this here, and, and this you will find on a PDF uh, manual online. I won't give a link to it because the only one I found was it's like absolutely ad bombing. The page was just like ad bombing, so I, I don't want to set out a link that um, where you click on it and then you get to a site where they just absolutely splatter ads at you so um, but anyway it's, it's relatively easy to find and then you need to um, print out this this um, diagram because this so shows the step-by-step -step procedure of loading the, um, the wire into the welder so anyway let's get into it so um, let's do the preparation so step one is to loosen that up and pull it down Step two is to pull this one up. And then step three would be to change to the correct roller, which is um, basically the it's it's made to the size of the um, wire you're supposed to use. And if I remember correctly then. Um, okay, that is, that's, I don't know if I can show it, but that's for the wire that sits in, in, in the machine, and then that's for the thinner wires. So if you put it in this way around, then it should be, it should be okay. was at zero point. I don't remember exactly what the size of the wire was. This is 0 0.9 and the other size is 0 0.6. Okay. So and then it's got this kind of a cap. like threaded at all so you need to actually make sure you get these these grooves like sideways like that and then you turn it to lock it. So then the um, wire should be fed from the bottom. I didn't prepare with pliers. I have to go get the Up the wire, and then we need to try and 
speed of through here. when I get it filled. The thing is it's got like a a spring coiled protection wire going out into the actual lead and, and, and it's got a rough end on it so I'm having a hard time poking the wire into it. Back soon. So I got it started so now I can start feeding. I'm not happy that this okay this spoil Oh, we probably need to be a bit more tight. That's my fault. So. Should have tightened the spool first. Hope it doesn't. Okay, so now we need to prepare for the wire to come out. Of course, it's going to come out here. And what you need to do is you need to unscrew. These two need to be off when you're pushing the wire through. Everything falling off the tape. So we just make sure. Whoa! Yeah, so I just tried to straighten the cable. So I'll come back once I got it through here. I'm just going to push it. Okay, that wasn't that fun. The wire came up to. Oh, can't, probably can't see it on. Into the nozzle end here, and then it jammed on a corner because it doesn't seem like they've um, machined the part so that it actually cones out. It's just a sharp edge. So this wire was stuck inside there, and like whatever, I took it back and pushed it forward. I couldn't get it through. So I, I had to use my own fix, so I took this very small file and I tried, filed the inside, trying to get rid of that inside edge, and then I got it through. But that's a bit of a bad design. So, but anyway, I, I, yeah, and now it's just to put the parts back on. So I'm going to be nozzle. I wasn't able to unscrew that. I tried to, um, but I, I, I stopped because I, I, the force I was putting, I was a bit, uh, yeah, you know how it is with this material. But, um, bronze like material, I have to be a bit careful when it doesn't crack it. So I, I just put enough force on it to um, feel how it was feeling, and it was not feeling like it would want to come off. So, so I, that's why I reverted to this other optional method. But thankfully that worked. Make 
sure the roll is, is a little bit held back so it doesn't get this phenomenon where it's, it's completely springy. So I would say this is at least good enough for first try. It makes nice. recommend using a little bit of anti-stick on, on the torch and to be able to tack it on.
Pretty terrible weld for the first attempt. Far from perfect, but it, it sticks. So, anyway, that wasn't too bad. It was the first test. I think I spent a little bit more patience and time. I could get better welds, but I must say, this was already stuck on this the way I would need it to be stuck on. So, so this is kind of a model of what I intend to do. Kind of put together. So even, even these crappy welds will hold for what I need. And then I use this anti-stick um, on the nozzle to, to prevent getting gumped up too bad. So anyway, if you like this video, consider hitting like. Um, if I could buy me a cup of coffee, it links in the description, merch is also available. And if you'd like to see more of this kind of fun, then um, see you in the next one.